Hey guys, Pastor Matty here. I'm in the airport on the way back home from Las Vegas, uh, back to Tennessee. I can't tell you how stirred I am at all that God has done this weekend. As, as tired as I was last night, I felt like I couldn't fall asleep. Um, and uh, we're still getting testimonies of lives that were changed, transformed, families that we believe are going to be healed. And um, I just cannot wait to see all that comes from this. But, you know, I, I think that all of us are asking the question, what now? What next? What's the next step, right? We had this incredible weekend in the presence and the power of God, but where do we go from here? And so I want to give you three practical steps, three things that you can take. Uh, and, and in the, the, the days and weeks to come, you can make these things a reality. Uh, step number one is this. You need to go and get the album Welcome Home by The Altar Music. Uh, man, they absolutely killed it last night. They did an incredible job. And as we mentioned at the conference, their new album, Welcome Home, just came out yesterday. Uh, and so if you were there, if you were ministered to by their music, you can get, on, get it on iTunes. You can listen to it on Spotify. Uh, you can order a, a hard copy from the website. But um, uh, yeah, they are uh, an, an unbelievable band. We want to make sure that we support them, bless them, and honor them for their ministry to us. So go and get the album, Welcome Home, by the altar music right now. Step number two, this is the second thing that we can do that I think is going to be a game changer for us. Um, uh, we talked a lot about repentance. We talked a lot about uh, purity. We talked a lot about making a decision uh, to live differently when we got home from this conference. And it's easy for us to make those decisions when everybody's cheering us on at a men's conference. But what do we do when we get home? Uh, it's gotta start somewhere. And, and the Bible says that if we will confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And so what I want to challenge you to do is to, uh, if you have sinned against your children, if, if you've been a poor example of what a man of God should be to your kids, I want to challenge you to get your kids together in a room and confess to them the areas where you've fallen short and to say to them, it's going to change today. Uh, if, if you have failed in the way that you've dealt with your wife, I want to challenge you to, to take her um, in, into the bedroom, take her somewhere where you can have a private conversation and sit down and say, hey, I have failed in, in this area, in this area, in this area, and I'm committed to change. Um, and, and your family, they may roll their eyes at you. They may scoff at you. They may not believe that it's possible. But I'm telling you, that may be the moment that your kids still talk about 20, 30, 40 years from now when they say, man, I, I saw the tears in my father's eyes. He confessed his sin to me. And then I saw the change in his life after that. And I knew that God was real. And, um, and so I, I want to challenge you to confess where you've fallen short and to commit to change. And then the third thing that, that I want you to do now is to, um, is to begin to pray with other men. You know, the engine that drives our church out in Johnson City uh, is men's prayer. Uh, every single week we have service uh, on Sundays at 10 a.m., but every single week from 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock in the morning, uh, I and all the men in our church gather together to pray for our, our marriages. We pray for our children. We pray for our city. We pray for the church, the meetings that we're going to have that day. We pray for other churches and the meetings that they're going to have that day. Uh, we lift up whatever the Lord lays on our heart. We spend time together in worship. Uh, we just turn on, you know, some, some music in the background. We have a little playlist and uh, we'll turn on some music and we just go after the presence of God. And uh, I want to challenge you to do that, to get men together to pray at least once a week. Uh, I think early Sunday mornings would be a great time to do that. We pray from 7 to 8, and then we all go home and we get our families together, get our wives and kids together, and then we come back together to worship at 10. That works great for us on Sunday mornings. I know there are some churches in Las Vegas that have already been doing that, and um, the fruit that they've seen from it is incredible. So I want to challenge you to do three things. This is, this is what now, what's next? And you can do these three things. You can begin these three things today. Number one is go and get Welcome Home by the altar music. Number two is to confess the areas that, that God has shown you that you've been living in lack or in less than he's called you to, to confess those things to those closest to you and to commit to them that you will change. And uh, number three is to, to begin gathering men at least once a week to pray for your families, to pray for your churches, to pray for your cities. I believe if we'll do these things, man, that God is going to continue to blow our minds and take us from glory to glory and from faith to faith. Guys, bless you. I love you. And I cannot wait to be with you again. See you soon. Bye.